Lexington and Concord, Bunker Hill, Yorktown, and this place in rural Northwest South Carolina have something in common. This is Cowpens. On the morning of January 17, 1781, an important battle in the American Revolution was fought here. The Battle of Cowpens was a decisive victory for the American cause. More importantly, it was a turning point. After six years of mostly bad news, the winds of war were finally shifting in favor of the Americans. For weeks leading up to the battle, American General Daniel Morgan led a mixed force of 970 regulars and militia on a mission to draw British forces deep into the backcountry, away from Charleston on the coast. In pursuit, 26-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Bannister Tarleton with a mobile strike force of 1,050 British regulars. Tarleton had a reputation for being brash and ruthless. The previous year, he had massacred Americans attempting to surrender after being defeated at the Battle of Waxhaws, South Carolina. This earned him the nickname Bloody Man. Tarleton's forces moving along the Green River Road caught up to Morgan in an area used to pasture cattle. The Americans, with their back to the river, had little choice but to stand and fight. The terrain was perfect for Morgan, who deployed his forces along three lines, most of which were out of sight of the British because of the way the ground sloped. The first line was made up of sharpshooters, whose job was to slow the advance. The next line was largely untrained militia. Morgan asked them to fire two volleys and then withdraw. When Tarleton saw them pulling out, he assumed they were running away. He ordered his force to charge. They did right into the third line of trained colonial regulars who cut them down. American cavalry swooped in to finish the fight. In less than one hour, 110 British soldiers were dead on the battlefield. 220 were wounded and over 500 taken prisoner. Tarleton and a small group fled for their lives. American forces suffered 12 killed and 60 wounded. The strategic and psychological importance of the Battle of Cowpens was huge. Ten months later, the British would be defeated at Yorktown, and the war would be over a short time later. Today, the Cowpens National Battlefield, located near Chesney, South Carolina, is part of the National Park Service. It's open to the public year-round from dawn to dusk at no charge. There's a visitor center, a self-guided one-and-a-quarter-mile walking tour of the battlefield, and a three-mile loop road. The Battle of Cowpens was an important step on the road to American independence. <laughs>